So you'll be dividing your browser into multiple sections and we call each and every section to be a frame. Uh, so how you will be creating frames and so you'll be creating frames by using a, a tag which is called as the frame set tag. So this is the frame set tag which need to be the outermost tag and uh, inside this frame set tag you will be having one more tag which is called as the frame tag and this frame tag is having an attribute which is called as src attribute okay so which is nothing but the source attribute uh, so consecutively you need to close the frame set and so on you also do have another tag which is called as no frames tag okay so you also have one more tag which is called as the frame no frames tag okay so this is uh, like this so no frames tag uh, so no frames is used okay uh, to display text if browser not okay so if browser do not support frame content okay so if the browser do not support the frame content then whatever is there in between this no frames uh, tags, okay, so the opening and the closing of the no frames tag, that content will be displayed on the browser, okay, right. As we already have seen that uh, these frames have been uh, obsolete in HTML5. So in HTML5, so on, we'll be using iframes. So I'll show you all that concepts now um, through demonstration. So let me straight away get into the notepad. Okay, uh, so I'll be creating uh, the frames. So to create the frames, I don't need to do it in the body tag and all that. I simply just need to do it in after HTML. Uh, so I'll be using the tag which is called as the frame set tag. Now, if you want to create vertical frames, okay, so if you want to divide the browser into vertical sections, you will be using the calls attribute. Okay, if you want to divide it horizontally, then you will be using the rows attribute. If you want to divide, make horizontal frames. So what you will be doing, you will be using the rows attribute. Okay, and if you want to make vertical frames, then you will be using the calls attribute. Okay, right. Uh, so I'll be making uh, vertical uh, sections. Uh, so I'm using calls. So calls is equal to now it depends, okay? So this is uh, like, you know, name and uh, value, right? So what should be the value? So if you imagine your entire web page to be of 100%, you can divide them. So say, for example, you want three sections, you will be making them, like if you want equal three sections, then you will be dividing this 100 by three, okay? So if you want two equal sections, you will divide it by two. So say, for example, I want to make two equal sections, uh, so 100% I'm making it as two equal persons. So it will be 50% and 50%. Don't forget to put a comma over here. So when you do this, what will happen is you will be able to create vertical partitions of your web page. So we are making vertical sections. So that's the reason I have used the attribute which is called as calls attribute. If you want to make three sections, you can make 33%, 33%, 33% and all that you can make. Depending on that, like you can have one section to be very small compared to the other section or the other section can be very small compared to the other one. You can combine this vertical and horizontal partitions and whatever, what not, you can do anything. Okay, right. Uh, so this is regarding the frame set. So inside this frame set, I'm taking a frame. So I'm saying frame. Uh, so I'm giving the source, so which is SRC is equal to. So I need to mention the source code, HTML uh, file. Okay, so I'm, I, I'm saying like I'll be creating a uh, page which is called as frame1.html. So as of now, I'm just putting this. I need to fill in, create that files later. So first I'm creating the main HTML and then I'll be adding uh, uh, the sections HTMLs one after the other. So the first is like it is, it is uh, frame1.html. So I, I have taken two partitions, right? So I need two files. Uh, so the next one is like I'm saying frame src is equal to this should be frame2.html. It needn't be the names of the frames need it be frame1 and frame2 and all that. I just have put frame1 and frame2 for me to easily understand like what is going into frame1 and what is going into frame2 and so on. 
so then uh, I'm closing the frame set. OK, so you need to close this frame and all that. So I'm just closing the frame set and uh, if you want to. OK, so if you want to, you can give this no frames. OK, so I'm just giving the no frames and you can just type in the content like browser uh, do not support or whatever you can you want. You can actually type in between this. OK, so there is a tag which is called as no frames tag. Um, so you can say no support or the content cannot be displayed or no content or whatever you want. You can just type in here. OK, uh, so this text will be displayed. OK, so this text will be displayed uh, if browser do not support the frame content. OK, right. Uh, so what should be there at the end? Uh, so there should be a closing uh, HTML tag. So I'm just closing it. Uh, so let me save this. OK, well, fine. Uh, so you can see, right? The frame is divided into two portions. OK, so we haven't connected. We didn't create frame one dot HTML and we didn't create frame two dot HTML, right? So that's the reason whenever you come to one particular frame, you can see that it is highlighted. The color has become a little bit uh, light than the other frame. So you can see whenever you are shifting to from one frame to the other frame, you can see that the light, uh, the color is lightened up. And then it may have been moved, edited or deleted. So this is what you'll be finding a broken link over here. So which will uh, read like this. It may have been moved, edited or deleted and all that will be displayed because we haven't created frame one not HTML and all that. So this is how I have uh, partitioned my web page into two sections, 50% and 50%. And these are called as vertical uh, frames. OK, so I have created vertical frames one after the other. So if you want to, you can actually uh, uh, create three frames as well. So I'm saying 33%, then 33%, and then put a comma and say 33%. Now what will happen is I am creating a frame. Uh, I'm creating three frames uh, which are of equal size. OK, so since I haven't connected anything, it is just a blank. It is not even showing this uh, broken link. OK, so it's simply a partition section. That's it because why? because I haven't created a frame. I didn't say frame source and all that. So that's the reason why it just created, but it's just a partition left out for future use like. Now we'll create two more files. So what should be the first file? It should be frame one dot HTML. So what I'm doing, I'm closing this. OK, see this is my FR file which I'm closing it. OK, I can actually open a new file there, but not to confuse you. I just closed it. I opened the notepad again. So this is my new uh, HTML file and I'm saving it as frame one dot HTML. OK, I'm saving it as frame one dot HTML. So the names should be correct. Whatever you have given there and here, all the names should be correct. So it is frame one dot HTML and I'm putting it in the same place where I have created FR dot HTML. You can also create a directory. You can also create a folder and keep everything in that. But provided that the path is same. OK, right. Uh, so the, here I'm creating my first frame. Uh, so I said HTML and uh, uh, then um, I'm taking the body. OK, uh, I'm taking a anchor tag. A href is equal to. So I'm taking some. Uh, I, I'll just take the Vishnu website. HTTPS colon slash slash www dot svcw dot edu dot in. I'm taking this website on the first page. OK, I'll be linking this and I'll say svcw. And then I'm closing the anchor tag and uh, close the body tag and then off the HTML tag. OK, so I just have created frame one and I'll show you the effect of it. OK, uh, so just take a look at the desktop ma. on the desktop. You can see like I have fr dot HTML. This is fr dot HTML. This is frame one dot HTML. So they both are on the same location. They are on the same path. OK, fine. Uh, so let me refresh this and you can see like on frame one I have uh, since I have created frame one dot HTML. So you can see what all I have put in frame one. It appeared on this particular part. 
section of the web page. As I click on this SVEC W, okay. So where did it open? It opened only in this uh, section. Okay, so it didn't open in the entire window. It just opened in this particular part of its own section. Now let me create one more frame. Uh, so let me just go here. Let me copy the template and let me take new. Here what I'll do is um, I'll create uh, another frame wherein I'll be taking some Wikipedia thing. Uh, always be careful that the site is available and if the site is not available, you will be getting the broken link uh, thing. OK, where the information will not be displayed to the user. So always make sure that uh, it is available because some sites, for example, um, they will not allow you. For example, take. Uh, mm, for example, I'll show you. So say this is Google, right? So I want to open Google and I'll just show you what will happen if I try to open Google or uh, link Google. OK, so this is Google. Uh, so what is this? What should be the name of this file? Frame the, name this, yeah, yeah. the name of this file should be frame2.html, right? OK, fine. So now I'll just go on to the basic page and I'll refresh it. So you can see like one on one side I have SVCW on the other side I have Google. OK, so I have already shown you what happened when I clicked on SVCW. Let me show you what will happen if I click on Google. When I clicked on Google, so what it is saying www.google.com refuse to connect. So many sites they do not give permission for you to actually connect. OK, so you always need to be careful whenever you're picking the sites. So let me just actually connect uh, uh, Wikipedia. So I'm saying HTTPS and then uh, let me say en dot Wikipedia dot org. Okay, English. Okay, so en stands for English. Uh, Wikipedia dot org. Then I'm putting a slash. Then wiki. Then slash. Uh, let me get the information about Mahatma underscore Gandhi. OK, right. All quotes and let me if you want, you can put Mahatma Gandhi's uh, picture or you can actually make it a text also. All that part we have seen in the earlier classes, so I'm not uh, I'm sticking to the point. Mm -hmm. So what exactly is frames? So we are sticking to that. Uh, so this is what I have done. OK, let me refresh this. So you can see Gandhi G over here, right? So as I click on this. You can see Gandhi G's uh, Wikipedia page will open on this particular part of uh, the frame and uh, in frame two and SVECW will open in this part. This part. This is vertical frames, right? So if you want to just make it horizontal in place of columns, I'll be putting what I need to put. In place rows. of columns, I'll be putting rows. OK, so I just rows. have. OK, so let me save this. Go to this and refresh. It. So you can see that now we have created horizontal frames. OK, earlier was the example of vertical frames. This is the example of horizontal frames. So horizontal bars like you got right. So as I click on this, it will open and as I click on this Gandhiji. So Wikipedia page will open as I click on this SVC page will open and you can see like you can adjust the frames size. But initially uh, during the launch you asked it for 50% and 50% but the user can adjust it accordingly. OK, right. So this is regarding. Creating horizontal and vertical frames.